Hi everyone, this is Anita Kim at the Lobster Lab at the Anderson Capital Center for Ocean Life at the New England Aquarium. Uh, while the aquarium is closed to the public for the next couple of weeks, um, there are still some of us who are coming in to take care of our animals. And I'm here today to take care of our lobsters in our lobster lab. Now we raise larval and juvenile lobsters in this facility strictly for research purposes. And I thought uh, I could take you on a little deep dive on some of our animals. So over here we have our larval tanks. This is just one of them. And these are some of our older larvae. These are stage three and stage four post larvae. Uh, and why don't we get a closer look? So you got a little bit of a closer look at our larvae and our post larvae rate that we're raising in our lab. And the post larvae we're, is what we're really interested in. And we're going to be doing some research looking at how warmer temperatures, specifically climate change, is affecting these post larvae and their swimming capabilities. And what you'll see over here is a mock setup. Uh, we're testing out our tank setup for these experiments. We'll be placing post larvae in the tanks, as you can see a time-lapse camera, and we'll be monitoring their swimming capabilities, and in the end looking also at their nutrient use. So we want to really understand how increasing water temperatures is going to affect these uh, lobsters at a very young age, and also it depends on where they might end up in the wild, so where they're going to settle and uh, where which habitat they're going to use. And uh, that's how we're spending our Tuesday here at the aquarium. Um, stay safe everyone, stay healthy, and uh, uh, follow the New England Aquarium on all your social media, along with the Anderson Cabot Center for Ocean Life at the New England Aquarium for uh, future updates over the next coming months. Thanks.